I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to explore the rational equation of the form f of x equals to ax plus b divided by cx plus d. The question here is consider the graph of the function f of x equals to 2x minus 1 over x plus 1 and f of x equals to 2x minus 7 divided by x plus 1. The only difference here is this value right which is in general in our general equation the b value right the only difference between them is the b value explain its effect on the graph of the function and what we have done here is we have also given you the graph of the function so what you can actually do is you can actually graph yourself from the equation and then answer the question right but let's discuss that what is the difference what difference does this value make right so we have exactly same values a, C, and D, these parameters are same. One parameter is different, right? So let us see how does it affect the graph of a rational function, right? So what we have here is f of x 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. And on this side, we have f of x equals 2x minus 7 divided by x plus 1. So these are the two graphs for us. Let's compare them. So let's begin by checking the vertical asymptotes since their denominators are same right so c and d values are same so their vertical asymptotes are exactly same they are at x equals to minus one right so here this line is at x equals to minus one and here also x equals to minus one is vertical asymptote right so these are the vertical asymptotes the horizontal asymptote is ratio of the leading coefficients 2 over 1 is 2 so that is y equals to 2 and this is also y equals to 2 leading coefficient ratios is exactly same right we understand all these three parameters fairly well we say the vertical asymptote is basically ratio of d over c with the negative sign and horizontal asymptote is the ratio of a over c correct so we understand them fairly well but how about this b so these two are exactly same as far as their domain and range is concerned since the vertical and horizontal asymptotes are exactly same. Now how are they different? Now if you compare x and y intercepts then what happens? So this b value actually changes the x and y intercepts. If you see here the x intercept and there it seems it has been stretched a bit. Now if you see the graph you will find that it has been horizontally stretched. Now, if you compare the y-intercept, which seems to be at minus 1 here, in this case, it is much below, around minus 7, right? So, so what we have really got here is that the y-intercept has changed, right? So, two things which we see here is that this value b really affects x-intercept and y-intercept, for sure. And what else? If you see the graph itself, it is kind of stretched, right? So I would really en enlarge this part so that you could appreciate it, right? And you also know one thing, that whenever we draw this function, our graph is symmetric about which point? The point of intersection between these two asymptotes. The graph is exactly symmetrical about these two points, right? It is exactly symmetrical. If you see the portion which you can see, you'll find that they are symmetrical. Now, since they are symmetrical about this point, both of them are, we can compare the characteristics like x and y intercept I just said. But if you see the structure of the graph, it seems that the graph has been stretched both horizontally and vertically because of the factor of 7, correct? So that is the major effect. So if I stretch it horizontally, my x-intercept will change. If I stretch it vertically, the y-intercept will change right it has been stretched by a factor of seven right in this particular case right so b has the effect of stretching horizontally and vertically and it has no effect on asymptotes right so we can summarize our learnings from here so our learnings are that the effects are it changes x and y intercepts So basically what it does is the value of b, the change in value of b will change, it will stretch 
or you can say compressed also right graph both horizontally and vertically that is seen directly from the change in x and y intercept right so that will give you the stretch factor also right now in this particular case we have taken values 1 and 7 so that we could directly relate it but I hope with this you understand that the parameters a and c affect the horizontal asymptote c and d affects the vertical asymptote b affects the stretching part right it affects x and y intercepts correct so that is how we can compare uh, the two graphs. I hope that helps. Thank you.